So for this program, it will prompt the user to input grades up to 60 grades, but if the grade inputted is a negative, then the program terminates. After the grades is inputted, then it will view the grades in descending order. So first up is is the default things and which is the sharp include IO stream and using namespace std semicolon we also have our ink name open curly braces so first is we declare our variables in grades this is our array then size then also i which we will use for the for loop then we declare here the size constant in size which is will be 50 since the only required grades is only 50 and we will use this for other functions so this will it will really help if it's a global declaration so next is next is we leave the main pro main for the for a while and and create two functions which is get is used for getting the grades and another function is for viewing it in descending order first up is getting the grades so we leave a space here then we write here for the void for our get grades getting the grades then our parameters are in grades our array and in i so so the very basic of arrays is initializing the array list and see outing so using for loop in this case see see inputting values in our arrays is the same as outputting it using also for loop so the condition also states if the user inputs the a negative number the program terminates so in this we will use an if statement so inside the for loop statement still is an if statement if grades the input then grades is less than zero open curly brace you exit so that's the code for exit then you close so that's the end of our for loop and this is the end of our function the next function is viewing the grades in descending order so here we will use bubble sort so in bubble sort is we compare the first two then the next two then the next two until it is in descending order so let's just use the space here so in our function void let's you let's say descending our parameters in grades
then in I open this start so I want to use system clear screen so that so what we so what we input in our grades the after after inputting the the screen will clear then then the, the sending order will follow so our program will not have many numbers so we initialize our variables that we will use in our bubble sort in a and say as so let's start with our bubble sort first up is our for loop like just what we have in our for loop in cat grades i is equal to zero and i so this is our array list i plus plus so open braces then we have another for loop that will initialize our a to one and size it will continue until a is less than size until then it's a plus plus then we have an if statement if grades so is the greater than grades a minus one then here in the if statement if that is true then as will be grades a then we will our new value for grades a is grades a minus one then grades a minus one a s so we close that that's so this so let's try to understand this bubble sort so here we have our for loop for our list and we have another for loop to initialize a to one so here grades one and grades a minus one we are comparing the index value of 1 and 0. So, which of them is greater? Which of them is greater? The value here in 1 or in 0? So, if the value in 1 is greater, then we, we store that value, let's say 100. Then this is 90. Then we start 100 to another variable which is AS. We store here it. So I call it AS, so another storage. So we store this 100 to AS. And the new value of 1 will be a value of. So the new value value of 1 is the, is the value of 90 so we will change this so it will become 90 to 100 this is 100 since the stored value of AS is 100 So the new value is this. So this.
this will be the sending. Is this 0, index 0, and this is index 1. So, so on and so on. So you can really use this bubble sort for the sending. So if you want it ascending, you just change this to less than. That's how it is. So we go back to our main and declaring our functions and calling it. First up is let's declare our functions. So we just copy what we wrote there plus a same color. So another is void descending. Our parameter. Next up is calling our functions. So let so let first the user input the grids. So you see up enter grids. Call the get grades. Plus your parameters. Next call is the descending function. Descending. is grades in descending order. So you will also use here the for loop. Always always use the for loop when you input output use arrays then see out your list in descending order that's the end of our main so if I put it here in my laptop then compile then run it. We'll input here grades, grade 1, we'll input 90, Java, until you reach 50. So I, I already inputted 50 grades, so ta-da, it's in descending order. So